Okay, here's a quick video to show you how to make a low poly person. Firstly, we've got to get up the tool panel on the side, press N on your keyboard, and we've got these options here. There's background images there, so click on the background images, add image, and open up your image. If you go to this option here, you can actually see what the image looks like. Now, it won't show up straight away. Uh, you will need to press B in orthographic mode, which is 5 on your numpad, and either camera or front view or side view and so on. So here's an image of my friend Ross and we're going to make a low poly version of someone like him but you can just go onto Google and type in character reference and you should get a front view and a side view. Now the, it's important to set these up and have two images so I'll add another image and I'll open up Ross. If you press these double arrows here you can get the same one and one is going to be the front view so if we go front and this one is going to be on the right hand side. Okay, so let's minimize that. So in front view, one on the numpad, I can start changing this around and move him into the right position, which is around there somewhere. And on the other one, which is the right hand side, so if I go to side view, three, that this shows up, and then I can move it across and put the side view where I need it. So let's go back to front view, if I press Z on my keyboard, that'll go to wireframe and press tab. I can go into edit mode of this cube. It's the default cube. Uh, then if I press A, it will deselect everything. And A again, it will select all. So if I A to deselect, press B to box select like this, I can start moving my vertices around. So that's what I'm going to be using a lot. A, B, and then select my vertices. That will make sure I select the one in the background as well. What I also need to do to this is Control R, and that's a loop cut down the middle. So Control R. So press it once, and it will give you this slidiness. <laughs> and if I right-click now, it will go. It will stay in the middle, and it's been applied in the middle. Okay. And th at this point, I can press A, B to box select these over here. Remember, it's going to show the ones in the background as well. And press Delete vertices. Now I've got half, and I'm going to just model half of Ross. So what I'll need to do is add a mirror modifier. So over on the modifiers tab where the spanner is, click on add modifier, and there is a mirror modifier in the middle there. Ta-da, and it's a, it should appear over here. If it doesn't, check out my tutorial on mirror modifier. But in my case, I've got it on the x-axis. That's the red one going across here that says x. And I can see that, uh, that it's created a new one on the x-hand side, and it will be around this little edit point here. If I press clipping as well, that means it will stay attached. So if I select this, I can't grab it on the x-axis because it's cl got clipping enabled. If I deselect that, grab, it will open up. And you'll see if I press Z, it's actually opened it up. We don't want that, so I'll press Control z to undo, go back to 1 and wireframe mode, and allow clipping. Okay, so let's make Ross. So A to deselect all, B to box select, and then grab. And I'll start with the shoulders there. Bring this down to the neck level and bring this up to his arm and we'll start with his arm just there. Okay, so his arm's going to come out of here. So I will press A, B, box select and E to extrude and that will pull those out and bring them down. And I'm following the shape of Ross at this point. Okay, so A, B and extrude, bring it down. Again, A, B extrude. And that's how I'm grabbing these areas. I press G to grab so I can then move it around like this. And at this point if I try and extrude out to the legs, extrude, it's not going to work because it's still got clipping enabled. So I'll undo that. Okay so what I'm going to need to do is do a loop cut, so Control R remember, and do a loop cut down the middle. Okay and at this point then I can select these, extrude and pull them down and sometimes it extrudes in a direction you don't want, so you just grab them together and pull them down. You press S to scale. Okay, so at this point it's a good idea to go into side view and start lining them up with Ross over there. So the same thing applies, so A to deselect everything, B to box select, and just start grabbing them into place. Your images may not line up perfectly, uh, but get it as roughly as you can. And occasionally you might want to sort of zoom around your object with the middle mouse button just to see how you're getting on. 
and then go back to your view with the numpad. And at some point you might think, actually there's, I need another loop cut in here, so Control R and double click and it will set it in the middle and then you grab your edit points and pull them into place. Okay, so if I zoom around I can see that I've got a very basic outline. Okay, and it's very low poly at the moment. We can add or take away, depends how we feel. Let's go back to front view and think about how the arm's going to look. So we can see my back vertices there. So we need to set, select these two and have the arm come out this way. So at this point I can go around the side a little bit, change to face mode, because at the moment I've just been in vertex mode. So if I press control tab, I can decide to go to face mode and select those two faces. And it takes a bit of getting used to, to look and see where the faces are, but uh, you'll get used to it quick enough. Back to front view and extrude those out. There's different ways of doing this. This is the way I'm going to do it, uh, but loads of different ways of doing this. I'm just extruding those out and then I'm going to extrude down from here. So I'm going to grab these points and pull them in. And don't worry if it's rough at the moment, uh, we'll get there. So let's go to side view and move those vertices. So I'll come around a little bit, grab these, pull them back first, uh, grab these ones so I know which ones they are, pull them in, and then when I go to side view I can see them all there. So this is where we can start getting them a bit more rounded. So at this point I want to grab uh, these along here, down to the waist, careful not to grab the background, and then start pulling them in so you can see it's becoming a bit more cylindrical. Don't worry about the legs at the moment, we'll come back to those. So back to front mode, there we go. Face mode, control tab, face, and let's select this face and extrude it out. And let's G to grab, R to rotate, so we're getting it along the right path. Let's go back to vertex mode, control tab, select our vert vertices, A, B to box select, G to grab. So at this point, I want to select these, and this time I'll use a different selection tool. Press C to circle select, left mouse button is to select, and right mouse button is to unclick. And if I want to deselect in circle mode, it will be the middle mouse button. But I don't want to do that, so left mouse button to select, right mouse button to come out of circle select mode. block it out. It's starting to look a bit like a person. It looks a bit odd at the moment, but as soon as you add more topology, more polygons, it will all make sense. Okay, lastly, let's do the head, face, mode. Let's make sure we're selecting the right ones. What I'm going to do to do the head is extrude, scale it in, so E and then S. I'll just bring this up slightly, so a slight protrusion there. And let's go to side view with three, make sure we're in the right place. Let's grab that, rotate it a little bit. It's a rather unusual caricature with a very big head, so it's a bit out of, out of place. And then let's extrude and grab that right to the top of the head. Okay, and then we're gonna grab this one at the front. Let's make sure we're in the right place, and this one as well. Make sure we've got the right ones. And we're gonna get extrude those out in side view. E to extrude and pull it out. Okay, we probably want a couple of cuts down here, so if I do Control r we can press the uh, wheel the mouse and do two cuts. And now I can just start positioning these different vertices. So go back to Vertex Mode, Control tab Vertex Mode, and start selecting these, grabbing them, and pulling them around. And there we see a very rubbishy low-poly person. I personally would like to add a bit more detail to this, so I'll show you that in time-lapse form, I think. To give him sort of a, a circular feel rather than a blocky feel, you grab the edges and you pull them inwards.
If you want to find out how to paint him properly, uh, then go on to this tutorial. At the moment I'm just going to give him basic outline colours. If you want to smooth them out and add topology and make them look like a, more like a real person, you can add a subdivision surface modifier. And there we go, he actually looks a bit more like a person now. Doesn't do such a bad job. And you can up the resolution, uh, make it smooth, and there you have a basic person. If I press K on my keyboard, I can cut out where I think I want the hair to go. Very simple, basic way of doing it, this is. Press Enter when you're finished. So K for knife tool. Hope that helps.